Doctor Who Season 1 is now less than five weeks away, and we've got yet another brand new trailer. So without further ado, let's break it down. We open with this fourth wall breaking shots of the Doctor in the TARDIS. Love, love, love this. It gives such similar vibes to the Do You Wanna Come With Me thing for Series 1 with Christopher Eccleston. Only this time the Doctor is saying, you ready for this? We then have our first reused clip from the Disney trailer, this being the TARDIS flying towards units. Any clips like this that have appeared in previous trailers, I will omit from this breakdown because I've talked about them already. The light comes on over the Doctor in his 60s pinstripe suit, with a microphone just visible there at the bottom of the shots. We're going to be seeing a lot more of that sequence later on. We have seen the shots of the TARDIS landing in the Sunday's flat before, but it's now accompanied by a close-up of Carla. Likewise, the shots of the Doctor exiting the TARDIS in units and saying, give me the loving, now cuts straight to the shots of him hugging Rose, also in units, so I can only assume that he's addressing her in that first shot. We have the Doctor and Ruby and also Carla as well and Kate in the background with some unit soldiers in what appears to be a unit room but I don't think this is the main kind of control room or whatever they're calling it. I'm wondering whether maybe this is the chamber that Russell talked about in one of his previous Doctor Who magazine columns. So this must be from the finale based on the costumes that the Doctor and Ruby are wearing and it's interesting as well that Carla has kind of got embroiled in events as well you know will she be playing a bigger role in this story than others? Now stay back, says the Doctor. We have a very quick shot of the Doctor's hand on the TARDIS console. Now originally I thought he was kind of putting a device onto the console, but I think he's just like pressing a button with his hand. This presumably causes the Mavisi in the TARDIS to go off kilter as we saw previously, but we now do see a closer shot of the Doctor and Ruby as well. We have a shot of the TARDIS flying through the vortex. There are a few of these throughout the trailer and there are some of the Disney one as well. We've got what looks to be some sort of enclosed community or colony or maybe like a construction site, it's kind of difficult to tell, or a city or something amongst this sort of jungle environment covered by a great big dome, or you could say a great big bubble, as in Dawson Bubble, because I think this is probably from that episode, from episode 5. A few people have pointed out that one of Russell's original ideas for the Series 4 opener, back when it was Penny as the companion rather than Donna, was to do a kind of Simpsons movie style thing where London gets covered by a giant dome rather like this and there's like an alien on the loose that some other aliens were trying to capture. Now I don't think that's going to be the plot of this story, but maybe Russell has sort of gone back and thought, oh I could reuse that, that visual in this story perhaps. We have the Doctor and Ruby landing on the clifftop scene in previous trailers. This was filmed at Tenby. I remember it well from filming. I believe this was the first time that shoot team was kind of glimpsed out and about on location in that outfit with the yellow coat and the beanie. The way this is cut suggests that perhaps this is also from episode 5, Dot and Bubble, but I believe it's actually from 73 Yards, episode 4. We have seen this shot of the Doctor and Ruby in their 60s outfits from the Devil's Court before, but it's now pulled out slightly further so you can see Big Ben sort of CGI'd into the background there, confirming that this building, which originally was in Newport, is actually in London. We've got Ruby looking out onto space, uh, presumably for the first time from episode 1, Space Babies. We've seen the reverse of this shot where we kind of see her reaction, but now we kind of see the other side of that, so we see the Space Vista. We see some more of the interior of the spaceship with what appears to be babies kind of in tanks there. Are they kind of growing? I don't know. Then some more Regency stuff. So Jonathan Groff's character looking to the Doctor from some balcony or something. And the Doctor looking back to him, I thought these two are going to have a, a particularly interesting relationship. Could it be a similar sort of thing to the Doctor and Madame de Pompadour and the girl in the fireplace? Also from episode 6, Rogue, Ruby once again remarks that the whole thing is so Bridgerton. We've got Ruby in episode 3, Boom, the Stephen Moffat episode in her red outfit from that story. Then Ruby exiting the TARDIS in Space Babies and wielding a makeshift weapon also in Space Babies, uh, presumably trying to sort of fend off the bogeyman creature. Back in Rogue, another young woman tells Ruby that she is wild, brave and rude, uh, not sure who the actress is here. Ruby gives a disapproving look in the TARDIS, uh, presumably to the Doctor, presumably in Space Babies. The Doctor and Ruby flinch from a flame, also in Space Babies. And Ruby says, no, you made it worse. The TARDIS lands in 60s London, and the Doctor and Ruby dance their way across the zebra crossing at Abbey Road, and we now see the parade in Cardiff. We have another exterior shot of the space station or spaceship from Space Babies and in the background the Doctor is saying, where shall we go? Anywhere. The Doctor and Ruby look bamboozled inside the ship and then we see why, because a literal baby is talking to them saying, it's you? Does this mean the baby recognises the Doctor somehow? The Doctor says the title out loud, Space Babies. 
And then we cut to one of the best shots in the trailer, hands down. Nine babies, all there in this spaceship, in their own prams, in their own little like yellow and blue suits, with all this machinery around them, all, the, all these controls, and also all these toys and bits and pieces like playthings. I'm actually really intrigued by this and what's going on and how it fits into the thing with the bogeyman. Like, are these babies the actual crew of the ship? Is the one that was talking like the captain or something? Are they older than they look? Because clearly they can talk, apparently, or at least one of them can. So are they the crew? Are they the ones really in charge here? Or alternatively, are they just the passengers on some sort of colony ship, some nursery ship, perhaps they're there being looked after? Or whatever the case, it's interesting that the idea of babies has been carried on, obviously from the Church of Ruby Road, and also in the giggle we had these Stooky Babbies, the Stooky Bills Babbies. So we've had babies in three episodes in a row. That must surely be a record for Doctor Who. Oh, isn't the universe mad, says the Doctor. A rather wet-looking Ruby doesn't look convinced, and maybe this water is to do with them putting out that flame from earlier on. Let's have a random landing, the Doctor says in the TARDIS, uh, presumably from Space Babies. He pulls a lever, and off we go. Is it safe? asks Ruby, presumably also from Space Babies. Maybe this is the first time she's actually exited the TARDIS and stepped over that threshold onto a new world. We then have a character from Dot and Bubble, who we had seen previously in the Disney trailer, with these screens surrounding her in the same style as the screens we saw in the clip revealing the title of this episode. In fact, come to think of it, these screens appear to be in a sort of bubble formation. So maybe we have the big bubble kind of covering up this community as a whole, and they're like separate individual bubbles that people are living in. A lift opens up to reveal the slug creature, also from this story, with the text forward there and an arrow. Is it some kind of trap where this character is being lured into this slug's sort of insides? Ruby clings on for dear life in the TARDIS in episode 2. Then some Space Babies footage that we had seen before. But this clip of the bogeyman starts a bit earlier, so we now get a slightly better look at the overall look of this creature and of this costume, with the eye visible there as well. Ruby on a battlefield in Boom, followed by a close shot followed by a view out over the battlefield. All of life extinguished, says the Doctor. Ruby back home on Minto Road, and I'm pretty sure this is from episode 4, 73 yards. The Doctor looks anxious in Boom. Has he just realised what he's done by stepping on this landmine? A tear falls down his cheek. Some more Space Babies stuff. Come on, we've got work to do. Very survival. We have already seen this apocalyptic shot from the finale, but now there's some new dialogue over the top. A woman saying there's a storm coming in. It sounds to me maybe like Mrs. Flood, though I couldn't say for sure. You called, says Jinx Monsoon's villain character in episode 2, The Devil's Chord, sounding very much like a Disney villain. And leaning over a piano there, on the same rooftop where we previously saw the Doctor and Ruby. Ruby looks worried in Abbey Road. Back on the battlefield, and over the top of this, the Doctor says, Honey, I'm a much bigger bang than you bargained for. A rather serious looking shot of the Doctor from the finale. I will shatter this battlefield into dust. In a heartbeat. Into dust. Such an epic moment, again from Boom. I mean, you can kind of just tell from the sound of that, that is Stephen Moffat's writing. It sounds so much like he writes the Doctor. Back on the rooftop from episode 2, we have the Doctor there, maybe having a rendezvous with Jinx Monsoon's character. I don't have a people, I don't have a home, but I have freedom, says the Doctor. The Doctor looking very dapper in Rogue. Some new shots of Ruby entering the TARDIS for the first time. Are these just alternative shots, alternative takes? Or are we going to see the whole scene from a new perspective as part of a recap, perhaps, at the start of the series? Then various shots that we've seen before in the various different trailers. There is one interesting new detail, which is a slightly longer version of the shots of the Doctor stepping on the mine. And we can now see that before he stepped on it, it was invisible. So yeah, that kind of explains how he missed it. Catching monsters getting into scrapes, the Doctor says. We have a slightly longer, slightly clearer shot of Ruby in her finale outfit, battling some snow. Could this also be in that unit room from earlier? An intense looking shot of the Doctor from the Devil's Cord. That shot of Ruby surrounded by music notes and music staves again, only this time it appears to have snow in it as well. So is this going to be some sort of running thread throughout the series, like snow cropping up in all these different unusual places? So I keep moving on to see the next thing, and the next, and the next, the Doctor says. We've then got that shot that kept cropping up in trailers last year of the Doctor against a gold background. I'd kind of forgotten about this, I wasn't sure whether it was actually going to appear in the actual episode. But based on the costume and based on the background, I'm guessing this is actually from Boom. There are a couple of spacey shots in this section of the trailer. We might have seen them before, I can't quite remember. 
then oh my goodness, what is going on here? So once again from the Devil's Chord, the Doctor is there with his microphone singing and dancing. We've got a load of dancers in front of him. We've got like a whole orchestra behind him. Ruby there to the side. I mean, this basically confirms at least one all-out musical number in this episode, which is going to be really interesting. Then a couple of closer shots of the Doctor there singing and dancing with his microphone. It's certainly very different from what we've seen before from the Doctor, and I reserved it myself until we actually see the episode. But yeah, I can see classic series fans maybe not vibing with this so much. The Doctor releases a butterfly into the sky. Does this mean the whole butterfly effect thing with Ruby has been averted? We've got those sort of singing in the rain type shots again, together with a new one of Ruby dancing. The Doctor in his yellow coat and beanie. Ruby in the TARDIS from episode 1. Over the top of this, the Doctor says, Have you ever felt so alive? Then one last fourth wall breaking shot, the Doctor says, and that's just the beginning. And there we have it, yet another trailer for Doctor Who Season 1, Broken Down. What did you think of this trailer? Which shots were you most intrigued by, and what are your thoughts and your theories? I'd love to hear all about them in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, and make sure you subscribe if you're new for more Season 1 content over the coming weeks. But otherwise, until the next one, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye for now.